Hey, I'm Dean Hall and I am the project lead on DAISY. I guess the big thing we've been talking about is the change to our engine. So we're doing a uh, new engine, it's called Infusion, which is being developed internally in the company, of which DAISY is going to utilize uh, as you know, for its future version. A lot of the things that we were developing, we were trying to develop in, in them in terms of the current architecture we had, but sometimes you kind of reach the end of that and uh, you, you just aren't able to deliver the functionality you want. A good example perhaps is the, we don't have dynamic lighting in the current renderer engine in Daisy, Daisy so when you're using a flashlight, the flashlight, uh, you know, the light clips through the wall and stuff like that. And that's an example of something that we couldn't do without doing very dramatic changes uh, to the engine. So does this now mean that you're having to essentially start again? Good question, because I know that's what people were talking about on the internet. Uh, no. So the idea is to replace it as modules as we go forward. Originally, the studio had planned and actually announced a wee while ago the existence of this new engine. Uh, but and but considering the success of the DAISY Early Access and uh, the amount of resources we had available at the studio, it was decided that DAISY could benefit from this new technology. Why not um, just work with the Armour 3 development team and take their tech? Well, I think uh, a lot of the work that's been done by the Armour 3 team is uh, sort of part of this evolution in terms of in terms of engine. The, the idea was that really a lot of the problems that we were having uh, are perhaps different from what Armour, uh, say Armour 3 needs. So if you look at Armour 3, it's an incredibly open game. It allows you to do like custom scenarios. You can kind of jump into any soldier or any vehicle. Daisy is a bit more closed down because the, uh, the approach of what it needs to do is a lot simpler. So it was really, we wanted to kind of not not quite start from scratch, but definitely take the components and the work we've done so far, but then redevelopment, redevelop other areas. And I think the studio as well really wants to plan for the future too. Is this something that you've been thinking about for a while? Are we going to see that your plans are going to get pushed back even further? No, I don't think so. I think that's the the advantage of what's being done is there's a separate team working on the engine who are working on Daisy the game and. The, I guess the development was a bit slow for the last sort of three to six months as we ramped up these new resources that we'd taken on board. And I guess this is kind of the reaping that really, where we'd planted the, the seed to be able to do this with our resources over that time and, and now we get the, the product of that. So what would, would you say is the biggest difference with the new engine when, we, when you get to? I think it's in terms of architecture. So it's not like, you instantly say have everything fixed. Obviously improving the base architecture does fix a lot of things, but it really just gives you a very robust platform to build on top of. Because if you look at uh, the growth of armor and the development of it over the last you know, 10 years, there's been tremendous change and tremendous improvement, but sometimes it's good to go back and kind of revitalize everything and uh, yeah, there's a lot of great ideas and, and new enhancements we want to do with you know physics that, that we've been working on already. Yeah, I I am not the person to ask for game advice. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know, Dean. If you're in the mood to stare at more of Dean Hall's face and talk about Daisy, then why not subscribe and like this video because Dean will be happy.